Hello, hi there, welcome back to my learning block. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully you have seen something that really has capped your interest, your child is learning, and you continue to come back. I really appreciate that. And I know your child does as well. It's probably great having you in the room with them as they are learning through these great concepts in school. All right, now we're here because it is time to add multi-digit numbers and we're going to finally start regrouping, which means we borrow, carry, and all that weird, fun stuff, right? Yes, how do you teach it? Do you remember? I'm sure you remember doing something like you carry your one and you drop the one and blah, 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 right? So fun, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy teaching it, so I hope you're in for a fun time at the moment. Now, let me get my trusted handy dandy pen. Ready? All right, so again, an algorithm is basically the steps, a set of steps that are used um, with regards of math. Now, we're gonna use the number 456 and 285. These are pretty large numbers, fun numbers to work with. Um, when you're working with your child, make sure they're given numbers that they can really manage. Don't really go too high too early. I would definitely not start this concept working with numbers greater than the hundreds place. Honestly, if you go to the thousands, that's great. But even you'll realize that going from the hundreds to the thousands is a big jump. And sometimes your child can get a little frustrated if they can't understand early on. So start with the lower end numbers. Initially, I, sometimes I'll start with numbers like 16 plus 16. That's a great number. Um, but sky's the limit after that. Keep going. All right, so we have 456. And as you know, we want to um, we want to start from the right side. Uh, generally speaking, when we read, as, unless you're reading in Arabic or different languages like that, we generally read a book from the left to the right. So a way to help your child understand this is say, well, math is completely different from, from reading uh, ELA or anything like that. So we want to flip it and start reading from the right to left. It works sometimes. They, they feel all special and stuff. So we're going to start from the right and work our way to the left. So we're going to start in the ones place and gradually get larger. All right, so the first two numbers, as you see, we have six and we have five. So six plus five, your child is probably working strategies and you want to allow them to use whatever strategy they need to understand what six plus five is. But me, I'm pretty witty with this stuff. So six plus five equals... 11. Nice and easy. Now you'll notice I've done something that is not generally that you may not have done. I've actually just written 11 down here. A lot of times teachers will tell children to carry their ones, right? Bring, carry your one or either some e either carry it right here down at the bottom. Different places people carry their numbers different places but me and I'll tell you why in a little while I like to simply teach to bring that one down here. So it's 11, they understand that. Good, all right. Um, and I said a little while, I'm gonna tell you now. The reason why is because the margin of error is so much smaller. If they can put those numbers right there, they don't have to worry about carrying it. They don't have to worry about rising that number. Just put it right there in front of you. Now let's watch how to work it. So we have 11. Now we're gonna go over to our tens place. And what we're looking at here is really 50 plus 80. But right now we already have a number occupying the ones place. So we're just going to focus on the 5 plus 8 at the moment. So 5 plus 8 equals 13, I do believe. I hope. 13. Now, again, 50 plus 80 is 130. So if your child is there and they want to add the zero, they can, not necessary. The 13 works enough. So 5 plus 8 equals 13. 50 plus 80, really, they understand the concept now so they can get past that. Let's focus on the algorithm. All right, so I have my 13 right underneath. And you see 130 because I did add the zero here. All right, then um, our next step is four plus two. But as you know, as I know, as we know, it is really 400 
plus 200 and make sure your child understands that concept and if not then go back to the concept of addition and it'll really help them out to understand okay that is 400 and not really four but 400 plus 200 equals 600 and again the zeros are already accounted for so the six needs to be brought over or you can just go 600 which works for me too all right so i have in total 11 plus 130 plus 600. now what your child is going to do at that point is they're going to go ahead and add those numbers together they're going to add 11 plus 130 plus 600 and that process goes back to the simple addition form right and again we don't have to worry about the numbers being carried all at the top because that can get confusing if your child is like me then there's a lot of chicken scratch all around if there's a bunch of problems on the sheet or a bunch of words from word problems it can become distracting but if they work it right here then they have their own little table for their math all right so we're going to add this up one plus zero plus zero equals one one plus three equals four but really again that's 30 plus 10. then we have six plus one or 100 plus 600 and that equals seven so the answer is 741. And again, you want your child to go ahead and start this process. So make sure you're teaching this simultaneously with the subtraction and regrouping so they can subtract this number, 285 by 741. And let's see what happens. 741 minus 285. And what this also does, I forgot to mention, um, it shows your child the invert relationship between addition and subtraction. So it helps in many places. All right, so I'm going to go one minus five. Ugh, don't want negative numbers, so I'll borrow from you, become a three, then I'll add my 11. 11 minus five equals six. Oh no, he needs to borrow. He becomes a six. 13 minus eight equals five, and six minus, Two equals four. 456, yay! 285, yay! And 741. So after it's checked, it works perfectly. All right, enjoy teaching this process with your child and please feel free to go back and use some of those manipulatives if needed. The flats, rods, and units work excellent. Check out the video and it'll help you as well. Uh, and swing by the resources and check those out. Again, thank you for joining me on my learning block. See you next time. Keep learning.